Hi, I'm Kate Benzenfuller, and I'm an Extension Specialist at Montana State University. I'm here with John Hewlett, who is an Extension Specialist at the University of Wyoming. We've been working on a project um, over the last year or so to bring approachable free negotiation training to a wide range of people involved with agriculture. So this project started to fill a void in programming. Um, over the last six years since I started my position at MSU, the main questions I get um, through calls and emails are about land leasing. Often those questions are about lease rate statistics, but they're also frequently from someone who's nervous to talk to their lease tenant or their landlord about the terms of the lease. Many of these people are new to agriculture, either having recently begun farming or ranching or having inherited land. Many of them see themselves as ag outsiders and they are uncomfortable with navigating Montana's tight-knit agricultural community. Talking with Extension faculty in other states, this really doesn't seem to be a unique problem to Montana or even to the West in general. At the same time, when I started this project, I personally knew little about negotiation and times I've had to negotiate in my own life have been very stressful. Most of my projects are in response to phone calls and emails, but this area was really something that I had a hard time getting started on. In a call last winter with the Western Extension Committee, which is a group of extension economists in the West, several of us discussed a negotiation project. And John, in collaboration with me and several others I'll mention later, has been leading the project over, ever since. Our expertise varies a lot, and I, for one, am learning a lot. So this project is still very much a work in progress, but we are making progress. We are working to create four modules, each of which will be built around a fact sheet that we have already written. Much of what is in the fact sheets draws from University of Wyoming Professor Steve Smutko's work, and you will also see him in the first module. John has also built a website that our group is contributing to and a Moodle course framework. Each Moodle module will contain a variety of components to suit different learning styles. They will include short recorded presentations, the existing guides, supporting readings and resources, worksheets and quizzes, and finally opportunities to interact through discussion chats and possibly other methods with other participants. Our first module, which John will talk about shortly, which is titled Why Negotiate, has largely been built. We are currently working on the second. Our first set of materials address the question, why negotiate? After all, there are other approaches and techniques available to us. The NIA guide begins with a story outlining a situation that has escalated into a big conflict spanning a number of years. Negotiation is a technique for conflict resolution. Conflicts come in all sizes, big, small, and medium. In addition, there are many approaches to conflict resolution, depending on your level of concern and focus which could span from fight to collaborate, compromise, avoid or deny, and accommodate or smooth over. Considering how perspectives and levels of concern influence the parties involved can lead to a better understanding of how conflict can escalate. A similar escalation of responses are required as issues increase in importance with increasing values of financial or reputation-changing consequences. The conflict continuum is a visual representation of the resolution processes available to parties involved in a dispute resolution process. We might list several reasons why a negotiation could be the preferred approach to conflict resolution. First, it is likely the lowest cost process in terms of financial requirements. The parties retain the greatest control over the process. The time required to find a solution might be shortened. The information, data, and details of the discussions are kept private and will not become part of any record. 
A third party is not required, nor do the parties need to reach an agreement on which third party is acceptable. And agreements reached may be only temporary in nature, but do not prevent the parties from seeking more satisfying win-win solutions. The NIA guide offers more than we've covered here, and we encourage you to take a look if you have further interest. The available online module digs in just a little further. The Best Practices section gives us a chance to learn when others teach. In this section, we provide recorded presentations, including one by Dr. Steve Smutko, a University of Wyoming negotiation expert. The Ideas to Build On section offers the chance to learn by observing others, and in this section, we engage other participants in a discussion forum, sharing what has worked for you and the chance to learn what strategies others have used as well as learn how well those have worked for them. Tips for Success provides a chance for participants to teach others about strategies that have worked, and in this section, you can teach others about resources you are aware of, approaches you may have tried and that have worked, or describe methods that families you are familiar with have used. In this way, you may uncover new ideas for yourself or help others refine an approach that they might try. And finally, the Practice section allows participants the chance to learn by practicing the concepts covered previously. Practice may include completing an assignment, submitting a document that you've prepared for comment, or checking your knowledge level with a short quiz. Our second module is preparing for negotiation, questions to answer before meeting. I'm working on this with Shannon Sand at the University of Hawaii, Manoa, and Pat Hatzenbuehler at the University of Idaho. Each of us will record a video and contribute to the other content. We are planning this module now and plan to complete it in late January or early February. This module prompts potential negotiators to think through whether, how, and why they might negotiate on a particular topic. Starting with big, quick, big picture questions about goals and or visions for an operation, piece of land, or business relationship, this module walks through steps to begin to think about the specifics to be covered in a negotiation and considerations for that specific negotiation. Identifying possible alternatives either to negotiating or in the situation being negotiated is a key exercise introduced in the Why Negotiate module, but further expanded here. However, many alternatives are likely unknown as are many of the dynamics of the negotiation. Here we ask a series of questions designed to take stock of what is known, what is unknown, and what can be learned. In our third module, we invite potential negotiators to consider the logistics of the actual negotiation itself. For someone unfamiliar and uncomfortable with the prospect of negotiation, these considerations are especially important. Choosing the meeting venue, whether it is in person at a specific location, over the phone, or even by email or text, is one example of working to promote comfort that can help level the playing field. Some of these considerations may feel a little like one is negotiating the negotiation, but doing so can actually provide information about the other party and what to expect during the actual negotiation process. We plan to complete this module in the spring of 2021. Frames, short for frames of reference, are mental shortcuts people use to help make sense of complex information. Frames help us to understand and interpret the world around us and to represent that world to others. Frames and differences in perspective contribute much to how individuals and groups see things differently, especially where there are differing and incompatible interpretations of events. Our NIA guide digs into alternative frames of reference and how those may contribute to conflict between parties. In addition, the guide covers reframing as a concept and possible approach to help resolve those conflicts. 
It offers several approaches and practical steps to begin the process of taking the frame each participant holds from negativity to one that focuses on the positive opportunities for resolution. The future online module will allow participants to interact with these ideas and concepts in more detail. Now you might be wondering what we are planning next for the project. Over the coming winter of 2021, the team plans to offer presentations on the negotiation project, highlighting our recent progress. In addition, the team is working to complete the online portion of the first several modules and plan to have those completed in early spring. Additional guides are also in the works and may be released along the way. A live webinar session with the team and invited speakers is planned for later in the spring to allow participants and interested others to learn more about the project as well as interact with the presenters. After completing these steps, the team is considering adding additional materials to the online modules, possible role plays, as well as practice sessions to make the module contents more interactive. The team is also actively seeking suggestions for additional topics and are looking to continue working to develop additional guides and module materials over the next year. So far, project collaborators include Kate Fuller at Montana State University, Shannon Sand at the University of Hawaii, Pat Hotzenbuehler, Ashley Westerhold, and Hernan Tejeda, all at the University of Idaho, and myself, John Hewlett, located at the University of Wyoming. Those of us on the current team are members of the Western Extension Committee, a Western Region Association of Agricultural Economists, and we are interested to include additional team members who may have expertise or experience to share in this area of conflict resolution. Thank you for joining us for this brief overview of the Negotiation in Agriculture project. We'd love to hear from you. The information on the screen provides our contact details, or you may reach us at information at farmmanagement.org. For the Negotiation in Ag team, thank you for listening.